Hi, I'm Ed Mendes, and this is the WhiteSpider.org Photography Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you two very quick and easy ways to interpolate your images up to a larger size and do so in a way that retains the highest quality possible. The first method I'm going to go over utilizes the step process. When you interpolate an image up, what you're doing is making the image larger than the original file size. And to do this, your image editing program, which in this case is Photoshop, has to create additional pixels beyond what your camera captured to produce the size of image that you eventually want. In the step process, you'll be achieving the final image size by doing a series of smaller uh, in interpolations. So, hopefully when you do a bunch of small ones, uh, the quality turns out better than one big one. So what we're going to do, I have an image opened here, and it's sized to 8x10 at 300 dpi, and we're going to want to make this into a 16x20 at 300. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to image right here, pop on down to image size, and you can always use the hotkey, which is Alt Control I. We'll click on that. So you can see 8 by 10, 300. And we're over here in inches. What we're going to do, our steps are going to be in percentages, and we're going to do 10% increments with these steps. So we're going to change this over here from inches to percentage. And it's going to change it to 100%. And we're going to change this to 110%. So that'll make 10% changes. And we can keep our interpolations off in options right here by cubic, uh, best for smooth gradients. And we're just going to click OK. And as you can see, the image got a little bit bigger. And what you'll do is you'll just continue to do this until you get your 16 by 20 size that you need. So in this case, you'll need to do it about eight times. I already have an option or an action made, so I'm just going to run the action. Uh, if you don't have an action, just go right back up to image and redo the process or create an action. So I'm just going to run through here and uh, run this a few times. And as you can see, the image continues to get larger. And one more. Okay, so now I'm going to, I think I have enough here. So I'll take my cropping tool, make sure I'm at 16 inches by 20 inches, and I'm going to go ahead and draw out my crop hit enter to confirm it and that'll resize it to 16 by 20 inches go back to image size and here I am 15.999 I say that's close enough to 16 by 20 and I'm a little bit over the 300 dpi so I'm just gonna go back down to 300 select by cubic sharper which is good for reductions in my interpolation options right there click OK and that's gonna resize it down to 16 by 20 at 300 so there you go let's go in and we can see the quality, which is pretty good considering we've gone from an 8x10 to a 16x20, from 20 megabyte file to an 82.4 megabyte file where we've quadrupled the image size and we've retained quite a bit of detail. So this will make a mighty nice 16x20 print. So now the second option I'm going to show you utilizes Photoshop's transform tool. So we're going to go back here and I'm going to go back to my 8x10 at 300 image and you can actually see the detail at 100% that we have in an 8x10. Okay, so we're going to go to File, and New, and we're going to make a new uh, canvas, basically. So what we want is a 16 by 20 inch image at 300 dpi. We'll hit OK, and that will make a new file for us. And let's minimize that so we can see them both. And now we're just basically going to select the image, go over here to Layers, make sure you have the Move tool over here selected, and we're going to move our image over to the new canvas. You can see it's not very big. And all we're going to do now, I'm going to enlarge this a little bit, is go to Edit, select Transform, and go over here to Scale, and make sure you have your image layer selected when you do this. And we already have an 8x10 image where we have a 16x20 canvas. The height to width ratio of, is uh, identical for the two. So all we do is simply drag the image out. And what this does is uh, Photoshop has a very good algorithm uh, for their transform tool. And it tends to do a, an exceptional job. So you can play with it if you need it absolutely exact. 
or if you can fudge it a little bit, that'll be fine too. And you confirm that up here with the check mark or hit enter. And you can see it's been enlarged a little bit, but after it processes, it pops right down. So we'll go over here to image to make sure. Make sure that's selected. Go to image, image size, and sure enough, we have a 16 by 20 at 300 dpi. So let's check the sharpness in that one. There we go. Pretty impressive. We can go back to this one and I can run that action a few more times and we can compare the two and which one's better. So we'll do that one more time here. And we'll zoom out do a quick crop and go to image resize that to 300 okay that's working here and what we'll do now is take the magnifying glass come down in here to a hundred percent and we can see which one does a better job so here's a comparison Right here on the left is the first method, the step method. Right here on the right is the transform method in Photoshop. So compare and contrast, see which one you think works the best, and uh, give them a try. So I hope I showed you two good ways to interpolate your images up large percentages, uh, up to quadrupling, uh, quadrupling them in this case, and doing so while retaining a high level of quality in your images. So until next time, this is Ed Mendes with the whitespider.org photography tutorial series.